Hello everyone, welcome back again. So guys, this is not true talk show with Mary Rai. So another of Gonga topic don't come out again. No. So I would like more now sit down, je, 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 make una listen to waiting the talk for this very video today. Also say the topic now about uh, viral abuse. You know, viral abuses in relationship, in marriages, and ways to avoid it, you understand? And why some people also the you know tolerate her guys stay tuned listen to jjj and please drop your own comment and opinion on the comment section thank you so much guys and god bless you hello everyone welcome to true talk with mary rahim today we have here with us thank you and the fashion designer based in Lagos. today's show we'll be talking about dating stroke marriage verbal abuse Verbal abuse is when someone uses their words to insult or belittle someone, manipulating them and making them feel worthless and powerless. So, Miss Cynthia, are we asking you questions concerning this verbal abuse? So, the first question is, should verbal abuse be used as a love language? The person might actually see it as a romantic thing in their relationship, you understand. While some persons, is a no-no for them, they don't like it. And... Like all these worried people, you understand. If you are dating a worried man, you'll be getting that kind of the craze. I be so you. I be bomb day your head. Like yeah. how will you be telling your girl bomb day your head? Like yeah. how? Who does that? Okay. So you understand. But why some persons they like it? Like if you didn't put it in or chip it in in their discussion, it looks very boring. Yeah. You understand. But for me, I don't like it. So it's a no no for me. Second question is. How can verbal abuse impact your mental health? Okay, so for me, I, I really don't like it. So, I would, as I believe that before someone goes to any relationship, they need to set boundaries, you understand? So, Some of these relationships actually lead to yes. um, physical fights. Fight. So, the next yes. question is, why do people stay in a verbally abusive relationship? Oh, okay, so... I w I'll be actually be giving three major reasons that I know why people stay in Baba Okay. So number one is money. You understand when you have things to benefit from the relationship, you don't want to go. Mm -hmm. Let's assume now she they said it's better to cry in the bed than to cry in, in a keke. So <laughs> ah me <laughs> some okay. girls will rather stay comfortably in their Baba abuse relationship than to walk I'm away. I always smile in bed. Okay. My dear, you understand so. Number two is love. You know, when you're too clingy, you're too um, addicted to the person, you don't want to mm. leave. You you be there, you know, enduring, enduring what you don't like. You'll be trying to you know, ah, you go change, you go change. You understand? Yeah. And you see yourself leaving, and it will be getting worse all um, every day. Okay. So number three is fear. You understand? Leaving the relationship, you be scared what the society has to bring to you, you understand? Mm. You want to be scared of how am I going to cope? How am I going from there? Who wants to see me? It's am okay. I people's taste? Am I still people's taste? Do people still want me? Do will any guy see me like this and still approach me? You know, as they say, the same men as cats. So <laughs> you go rather say maybe they will just come, you understand? Yeah. Last but not the least, it says what's the best way to confront verbal abuse? Okay, my own word, I would say follow your heart, you understand? Mm. Wherever your heart is leading you to, follow it. And another one is facing your fear, you understand? Okay. You can, wherever the thing hits you, you can still pick up yourself. You are actually living without this person, you understand, at some point of your life. So, your life shouldn't be depending on another person's own. Mm. Once it has gotten to the point that you can't deal, you pick up your remaining self respectedly and move you will still see better runs of the person out there you understand so yeah. don't have that fear of ah nobody is there people are there there are 101 people out there looking for you there is actually respect and dignity in starting all over so in my own opinion concerning what mrs Sincha said i summarized that what i would advise the youngsters out there is to recognize abuse for what it is 
Don't minimize the impacts it has on your well-being. Set boundaries. It is important. Let the person know their behavior is unacceptable. If somebody is stressing you, do not just say, oh, it's going to change, she's going to change. If their behavior is becoming a gutter attitude, then you just have to let go of that person. And if the abuse continues, reach out to friends, family, or a counselor for support. Remember, you deserve respect and kindness in any relationship. Do not let any relationship or verbal abuse bring you down. All right, Miss Cynthia, thanks for the advice you gave to the people. Yeah. And it was nice having you here in our show, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, so what do you guys think about this video? Um, uh, Medirai, keep it coming, you understand? Just they bring them out, they bring them out. Not cover your potentials, not cover your talents, just they bring them out. The Lord is your strength, the sky is just the starting point. So these are all the potentials when God give you, this one and more. When God give you a lot of people, we are saying it, telling you, Medirai, no, what you are going through, you did, you, you want more than this, you understand? But you didn't notice in time, but we thank God that you know who you are right now. The Lord is your strength. The Lord will keep on, you know, pushing you to that destination, to that dream of yours. You will get there in Jesus. Name. And even those that felt that without that you can't survive, those that felt that, oh, she can't do it alone, will be surprised to see your achievements in life. You understand? Continue, baby girl. The sky is your starting point. Guys, please drop your comment on the comment section. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to my channel. And to my other subscribers, I say thank you so much. My new subscribers, thank you so much. And please, guys, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for more updates. And also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload any new video. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. Please continue supporting your girl. See you all in the next one. And bye for now.